The president of Purdue University is one week into a colossal assignment trying to conduct classes for the fall semester while keeping more than 40,000 students and an army of staff and faculty safe from the coronavirus. Mitch Daniels spoke today with our Jeff Newmeyer about the challenges he faces right now and in the months ahead. Jeff is live now from Purdue Fort Wayne with more Jeff. Yeah, uh, Chris Daniels has authority over what happens uh, at this regional campus, but right now it really has his hands full trying to run a tight ship at Purdue's main West Lafayette campus. The former governor of Indiana spoke with us one-on-one uh, -on -one via Zoom this afternoon, one week into the new school year. Purdue has instituted new safe health practices such as required mask wearing, social distancing, and robust personal hygiene measures, all to control the spread of COVID-19. Daniels early on got tough on violators who disobeyed social distancing policies, suspending around three dozen students here about 10 days ago who were caught without masks at indoor gatherings. We asked how those connected to the school responded to the crackdown and whether he still feels the tough enforcement action was the right move. We dealt with it as we said we would. And uh, uh, I, I've certainly heard over and over from on the campus and, and elsewhere that uh, uh, it, it, did, uh, it was a message that was received. And I will tell you that uh, the last couple weekends here have been, uh, uh, as far as we know, uh, you know free of those kind of, of risky uh, activities. Now, students arriving on campus had to demonstrate they had tested negative for COVID-19 before they'd be allowed in class or in residence halls. President Daniels is encouraged that the small number of students who've tested positive have been, his words now, extraordinarily mild cases with five out of six of the students not having any symptoms at all. He says if that holds up, then he believes uh, through good isolation practices, Purdue can do a good job of limiting the spread of the virus at the school. President Daniel says there's a, a good outlook for Purdue Fort Wayne here, saying uh, even though there's a slight uh, uh, drop off in enrollment this fall compared to last, there is a 3% uh, retention rate increase. He's hopeful that there uh, are a larger number of students that, that despite the fact that there are a larger number of students living off campus, uh, that that won't make it easier to bring the virus in from the outside where it could spread and cause problems. So far, so good in a process that uh, will have to be watched closely, Krista, uh, over the foreseeable future. Yeah, a big job ahead for all universities, Jeff. Thank you.